Hey y'all, it's Hans with Outdoor Legacy. The first thing I wanna do is thank all of y'all out there. If you purchased your Bolt Laser Range Finder uh, from us, or if you purchased your, your scope from us, really from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you so much. If you did not purchase uh, anything from us and you're just checking out the video because you need a little bit of help getting this thing set up, we really appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the video and we invite you to give us an opportunity to earn your business next time. Uh, you can do so 877-350-1818, outdoorlegacygear.com. It's in videos like this and the podcast that we do every week, the Late Night Vision Show. Uh, it's things like this that um, the customers that do business with us come to expect. The after the sale relationship where you can call up and uh, if you buy the optic from us or buy the accessory and you can get help with that beyond the time in the transaction. So, you know, whether it's as simple as how to turn on your scope to how to sight it in and the zeroing process and anything A to Z in between there. So we really appreciate it. We'd love to earn your business. And you can definitely give us a call 877-350-1818. Let's get into setting up your brand new laser range finder for your Bolt version two. Not difficult, but I'm gonna try to do it as simple and layman East Texas terms as possible, we're gonna be jumping into it right now. If there's the biggest piece of advice I can give you before we jump into installing your brand new laser range finder on your Bolt version two, uh, is to not try to do this in a very big time crunch. And what I mean is, if your buddy calls and says, hey, I'm gonna be there in 30 minutes to get you, and you say, okay, good, because I only need 15 minutes to get this thing set up, it's never gonna work out well. It doesn't matter if you're trying to learn a new scope or get the laser range finder working or whatever, when you're trying to do it in a hurry, nothing goes right. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. So when you get your accessory or when you get your scope, get it, take some time to just sit back. We always tell people, get in your chair, get your favorite drink, relax, open it up, play with it, get to learn it. And then, you know, then take it out and start using it. Don't try to do it in a time crunch. It'll save you a lot of frustration and heartache because this is not difficult stuff, but when you try to do it in this amount of time and you really need like this amount of time, everything seems way more difficult. So that's the first step. Take some time to learn it. Take some time to get it done correctly and don't try to do it in a time crunch. All right, we're gonna start with what's in the box and I've already got the box open and spread out here on the table just for the sake of time. Uh, first thing is that it comes with a little card with a QR code if you uh, shine your phone on the picture mode on the QR code. It will take you to a di digital copy of the manual on how to set this up. There is no paper manual. So you can either get it this way through the QR code or irausa.com website. You'll be able to find the manual there. If you purchased it from the laser range finder or the scope from us, uh, we can email you a digital copy of the manual. Uh, we have it saved so we can send it to you. But let's look what's in the box. First thing you have is the laser rangefinder module right here. Uh, the top is where you put in the rechargeable CR123 battery that it comes with. Now a special note on here, there is no charging base or anything like this. The USB-C cord actually plugs into a spot here at the top of the battery and it has a little light that lets you know that it's charging, a red or green light. So this plugs it directly into the battery and charges it uh, with this cord and, and with this battery. So this is what you need right here. Uh, second thing is it comes with a with an Allen wrench and three screws. These three screws are what you're going to mount the clamp and bracket to the bottom of the laser range finder. So uh, recap, comes with a battery, comes with a charging cord, Allen wrench, three screws for your clamp and your laser range finder module. That's what's in the box. Let's get this thing put together for it all falls apart. All right, we're gonna use a little magic of video right here as far as putting this thing together. But you have your clamp. You see there's three holes in the base of that clamp. You have one side that's a bowl. The bowl is where the screw, the screws go into. So you're gonna, there's three of them, three holes. You're gonna match up the three holes with the three holes on the base of the laser range finder. And you're going to mount the laser range finder on top of the flat part where the bowl is facing down. So you're just gonna use the three screws with your Allen wrench and screw the base of the clamp into the bottom of the laser range finder. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, y'all, we got our laser range finder mounted to our clamp and bracket. As you can see, the bowl underneath, we got our three screws that are going up and holding the laser range finder module securely into place. This is the clamp that goes around the tube of the scope. So the next thing we're gonna do, you're gonna put the battery in, make sure it's got a little bit of a charge to it. Again, you know how to charge it, just plug it directly into the top of the battery. 
putting the battery in now, getting it ready to set up. Okay, now the fun part. We're putting the laser rangefinder module on your scope on the Bolt version two, whether it's the TL35 or the TH50. I've taken this thing apart half a dozen times, put it back together, we've been testing them. So I already have my tightnesses set on the clamp itself, but all you're doing is you're, you're clamping the laser rangefinder module in between your mount and where the bell of the objective lens starts to, wi start to widen out. So there's a piece right there that you can get it to. Uh, you're just clamping it in that space kind of make sure that your laser range finder here is is somewhat straight on there uh you know where it needs to sit and then once you get it to approximately where the the elevation and uh where you want it to sit then you're just using that lever to seat over into the clamp itself i've already again adjusted the tightness for what i need to be secure and then you're just flipping that lever down i mean it is very easy this lever opens and shuts to tighten it. All you gotta do is just twist that lever. But as you can see, it's it's mounted and it is secure, y'all. There's, I mean, I cannot, with any of my strengths right now, I cannot move that laser range finder down or up. Now, the next thing we've gotta do in the calibration mode, we're gonna tighten this laser part. Once we calibrate it, we gotta tighten these screws down here right on the back. There's a lot, it seems like a lot going on, but it is super easy, y'all. There's a couple screws right here that we've got to tighten once we get this laser calibrated with the inside of the scope. Okay, next step, this is where you actually get to turn on your scope, turn on laser range finder and use it. So this is called the calibration part uh, of the process. The calibration mode, you've got to line up the, la the laser of the laser range finder with your scope. So the first thing you need to do, and I could not film this going through the menu with the video. I had to put a phone behind the screen because in the videos, the menus does not show up. And in the videos, the laser rangefinder won't show up unless you hold a phone behind the screen. So I'm just gonna show a picture of what it looks like. But first thing you gotta do, very easy to do, go into the full menu uh, and turn on the, bla the Bluetooth function. So there's an option, you just scroll down in the main menu, it's underneath Wi-Fi, uh, the Bluetooth, you turn that on. Once you turn that on, the next thing you get, uh, all you have to do is you're gonna hold down the uh, laser range finder button. You're going to do a long press on it and it's going to start blinking. Once it's secured a connection with the scope, which it'll do automatically, you'll have a solid green light to let you know that the Bluetooth is now communicating with the scope. Now, the next thing we've got to do is adjust this piece right here, this laser. We've got to adjust it uh, side to side and up and down to make sure that we have it lined up with the scope. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay. To calibrate the laser, People are gonna ask, what do I use as a target? How do I do it? Some people will sit in their house and put something on the wall, sit on one end of the house and put something on the wall that they can see in their scope to align the laser with the box. You will see now once those, once the laser rangefinder module is communicating with the scope, you will see a box pop up on your screen. That's the laser, laser rangefinder box. And what we have to do is we've got to get that laser that you will, uh, you will turn on physically pointed at that object on the wall, we've got to adjust and move your laser rangefinder module to where the laser is pointed exactly at the target that you have on the wall. Now I have a picture up right now. That picture is me at 13 yards. You can see because I have the laser rangefinder working, but at 13 yards uh, with a, uh, a hot hands target on a tree. So that's what I use. You don't have to be that far. It's 13 yards away. You don't have to be a hundred yards away to calibrate it. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is calibrate the laser with the scope. So once this laser range finder is connected with your scope, you will know because there's gonna be a new green box that shows up by your reticle on the screen. You need to now point your, and get this visible laser turned on and point the laser at your object, wherever you have it, whether it's on the tree or on a wall, and point that physical laser where it lines up to where your target is lined up in the box on the screen and the laser is pointed at it. So to turn the laser on, it's a double press. You double double press it, short press it. So double press the laser rangefinder module. It's gonna turn a laser on. You're gonna be able to put your hand in front of it and see a laser. So you are gonna move your laser while you're looking in the screen. You're gonna line up your box on your target. Then you're gonna come over here to the laser. You're gonna point your laser at it. And you're gonna get those lined up where when you can take your hands off the scope, your target is lined up in the box and the laser is on the target as well. So you're gonna look through here. Yes, it's lined up in the scope. You're gonna look out 
at the visible laser, yes, it's lined up on the wall or on the tree where the laser's on the target. Once you get those two lined up, very easy, you're going to need to set this and tighten it. So you're going to use the Allen wrench and you're going to tighten these two screws right here on the back. Once you get it exactly pointed where you need to do it, tighten those up. You can get this thing so tight that it's, it's not going to budge. It's not going to go anywhere. So that way it'll hold it in place if you're throwing it in and out of the truck. But the calibration process is easy. Turning the Bluetooth function on in the scope, getting the target set up at 10, 20 yards, doesn't have to be far, and then lining up the new green box in the scope with the visible laser that you turn on. It's a double press to turn it on. To save it is a long press, and that's all I do. It's saved in there, the calibration is done. Now, to get your scope and uh, laser, ranger, laser range finder to communicate every time, all you do is you turn your scope on, and then when you turn your scope on, it's a long press of the laser range finder, turn it on. You'll know it's on because the green laser range finder box will show up in your screen. If it's not on, the box won't be on the screen. If it's on, the box will be there. To turn it on and off, it's a long press to turn it on. It's a long press to turn it off. Very easy. You can see the range at the top of the screen. Again, this is a picture because uh, the menu does not show up on any video. So this is just a picture behind the screen of what it looks like, but you have your laser ranger laser range finder box uh, in the middle you have your range at the very top right where it gives the range of an object and that's it that's all it takes to uh, set up and calibrate your new laser range finder for your bolt version 2 whether it's the TL35 or the TH50 not difficult to do um, I, you know for the first time when I first got out of the box I, I probably took 10 or 15 minutes, and that's because I was just dilly-dallying and not in a huge hurry. So if you have any questions, if you purchased your uh, laser range finder or bolt from Outdoor Legacy, give us a call, 877-350-1818, outdoorlegacygear.com. If you haven't purchased anything from us, please give us a chance. We'd love to earn your business. If you, if you haven't seen our podcast, The Late Night Vision Show, you can find it on YouTube every week. Jason, the owner of Outdoor Legacy, and I, we do a podcast reviewing scopes, talking about all the night vision, all the thermal, all accessories. Check it out if you haven't done so. But we will be back soon with more videos just like this, more reviews, more instructional videos right here on the Outdoor Legacy YouTube channel. We'll see y'all soon. Take care.